I remember the day very well. I was scrolling my Facebook wall and found a huge Christmas discount on an inflatable kayak. Well, I never tried kayaking, but when such amazing thing costs just 200 bucks, you simply have to buy it. So I bought my first kayak as a Christmas gift. This was a gift for me. I was so excited to use the kayak that I immediately called on my friends to join me. However, they all declined the challenge. They all said just one simple thing. Brother, no, it's a winter now. So I asked one of my craziest friends, George, who never says no, even when I suggest a bullshit crazy idea like eight years ago when we paddled across Lake Baikal on Kennedy's, the world's deepest freshwater lake. or in the Greenland just two years later. George didn't hesitate with his answer. Okay. <laughs> the way I remember it, we had some really huge balls that day. There was a lot of snow and ice. That means we had no water. Yeah, it was a bullshit to go kayaking during Christmas, but it was a beautiful <laughs> bullshit. The next week it was a bit warmer and the ice had started melting. George declined to take a part in the session, but I still had his kayak at home, so I called Carlos, who had also never been kayaking like me, but he has a wife and two daughters, so any excuse to leave home is usually appreciated. We went to another river, one that had water and not just ice.
I love it. I love this so much. Just to get out the friends before the purpose. Just for the thrill. We were simply living our true lives the day. And the rivers. I find they are beautiful all the time. Every season. Every second they run down. They are all wonderful. Since then. I cannot see the river before thinking about how to cut down it. I already didn't know that my biggest kayaking adventure would follow that far. Maybe it was a stupid thing, but it sounded like an inside attempt in my mind. I got official permission to step in the biggest cave system of the Czech Republic, Amaterka. My guide was Gotso, who is one of the amateur speleologists who work on the cave discovery for more than three generations and half century ago finally set foot in. I asked him to bring the kayak with me as nobody tried here before and he replied, why not? day I decided to kayak the world. Where should I go next? 